Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome back to Prison Architect. Now it has been a while since we've had one of these. Now originally we had the P1 Mental Hospital, we also had P1 State uh, Penitentiary. I don't know where that one's at. For some reason that one's not on here anymore. Um, I don't remember deleting it, but I can't go into it for some reason. Maybe it's Warden? No? Where the fuck did that one go? I know I have that one on here. For some reason, it's just not in my saves. This isn't P1, is it? Maybe this is P1. I can't remember. Sorry about that. Wait, to do, what's to do? This might be, this might be, I think this is P1. Uh, State Penitentiary. I'm just, I forgot to name it. So, these are our three completed prisons. We got this one right when they made the, um, Psych Ward DLC, right when the Psych Ward DLC came out. This is our most recent prison, RDC. Um, I can't remember what it stands for. Uh, I'd have to look at my channel. Give me a quick second so I can go look. Um, oops, let me go to my YouTube channel uh, so I can see what this, because I can't remember. Reinhardt Detention Center, I think, is what it was. I might be right on that. Let me see. Let's see. It's going to be a while. Because, like I said, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, okay. Keep going. This is just really... Yeah, Reinhardt Detention Center. It was 16 videos. When the hell did this end? Um, It ended May 18th, 2018. So, it's been over a year since my last Prison Architect um, build. Let me also go. What the hell? Apparently, the video I had for my. Huh. Wow. Okay. Apparently, the school video I made got deleted. Um. And then. September. Oh wow. The last. The P1. And, uh. State Penitentiary were. In. September of 2017. Jeez, this has been a while. Yeah, okay, and that is that one is uh, P1. Okay, that's what I thought. So, it's time for a new prison. It's been a while. I missed this game. I haven't played it in a long time. I'm recently starting to get back into it. We are going to go for a large prison just because we're going to actually do custom stuff. We're going to start with 200,000. Fog of War is going to be on. Forests and lakes. Eh, lakes will be off. Buildings will be off. Failure conditions will be on. Prison gangs will be on. Criminally insane will be on. And we're going to go for... We're going to go for normal on that. So, this is what a large map looks like when you start. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for a large, but you know, whatever. We're going to go for a large. So, we're going to start by planning. As we always do, we're going to start by planning. So, first things first. This is going to be a multi-tiered facility. I'm going to have... Um, Spots for criminally insane. I'm going to have spots for all of the other sort of stuff. I'm going to have a death row spot as always. Uh, but we're going to start by making a spot for my bureaucracy people. So we're going to go for a 16 by whatever this ends up being. No, we probably don't need that big. We'll go for like there. What is that? What does that end up being? 96. That's probably a little bit big. Well, so that's probably not what it's going to be at the end. But, you know, that's what we're going to start it with. How big do I want these? How do I normally do these? Is it 6x6 six six that I normally do my... um? No, it's not. I do it as a 7x7, seven seven, don't I? I believe a 7x7 seven seven is what I normally do my offices as. There we go. And then we're going to put objects there. And we're going to have it set for pathway right down the middle. And then we're going to do a, another 7x7. Seven seven, and another 7x7. Seven seven. How many do I need of these again? Um, rooms. We need to go to rooms. So we need... Or not room, sorry. We need to go to staff. We're going to hire a warden. Then we need 
one for our we're not gonna have one for or we need one for our chief our foreman our accountant and our lawyer so we need five and then these guys will have offices in parts of the in other parts of the facility because that's where they actually have to have them be okay so we need five offices in total can I do hold up okay we'll do two lawyers I think we ha we can only have two of them right oh we have two accountants as well but we're gonna set up for two lawyers I think first and foremost cuz you know you never you can never have too many lawyers God damn it. Erase. I'm not going to do my warden's offices any bigger than I, I normally do. My, my warden's going to have the same size office as everyone else. He's just, as always, going to have a few more things. A couch. And, a filing, and two filing cabinets. Everyone else will just have a filing cabinet. Oops. And yes, I'm going to basically go for... Or everyone else will have two filing cabinets. Sorry, not just one filing cabinet. I'm going to go for uh, essentially the same layout for all of these. Alright, and there we go. And then... This is always where I come to the issues, adding in the rest of the stuff. So for now, that's it. That's all we're going to put in there because that's all we really need for this is these ones. So we're just going to start by building the, the warden's office because that's all we really need to build right now. Um, if we go to demolition. We're just going to dismantle all of these. So yeah, this, are, this has got to be the first thing. Uh, I, I'm sorry that this has to be the first thing. It's just a lot of dismantling of trees. But I got to get them out of the way. So the kind of the big reason I didn't do the lakes and the buildings is because that stuff takes a lot of time to get out of the way and I'm not in the mood to deal with it right now. So I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to do that. And there is a reason. The only reason we built the warden's office is so we kind of have the idea of what we want to do for the rest of the offices. All right. So then we need to go to rooms. And this should just immediately switch to, the, to his office as soon as I get everything in there. It's missing items. Purchase. So first things first, we gotta get a door in there. Which means we gotta go all the way to the staff door. And we are gonna have a, a large jail door right here to kind of have as this sort of area. Um, we gotta go to planning again as well and go pathways because we are gonna have a separate pathway for there. All right, and then we need to go to objects. So we're having an office desk, a chair, oops, a chair, two filing cabinets, and a wide sofa. And then uh, we need to get a light in there as well. We'll just go for a single light in the middle of the office. And prioritize everything as per usual. So what do I need this to be? So this needs to be... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how big I want to do this. So if we just do it like down here. Right, so let's go planning. power supply all right and 
objects. Nope, not objects. Walls and doors. Now we're just going to go for a standard door. No, we're going to go for a staff door, actually. Everything in this area will have a staff door on it. You know it would probably help if I put the fucking structure in? We're actually going to rotate that. We're going to keep it in the same spot. We're just going to rotate it. I'm going to erase that planning. We're going to go for power supply again. We're going to go to this stuff. And we're going to go right out this way. And this is just going to be for this area. Like, this is not going to cover anything other than um, the offices. And yeah, I probably could have done this like in a big room right here, but I was like, you know what? I really just need this one for down here. I shouldn't need more than one power supply. Um, we'll probably also use this power supply as like the area for the, because I'm probably going to put like the psychiatrist and psychologist offices down in this area. So we'll probably end up using that as this area. So what the hell is going on with that? Oh. That one hasn't been put in yet. That's what. Okay. So now his office is powered up. So there we go. So we can go into bureaucracy. And we can research finance. Which is the first one I always research. For those of you who don't know, every time I do research in this, I immediately research finance first. We're going to go back to demolition. We're going to dismantle objects. And we're going to get all this crap up out of here. There we go. And what I need you guys to do, especially when I'm doing this, while I'm playing this, is to to remind me to actually put lighting in. Because I always forget to put lighting in when I do these. Remind me as much as you can to put in lighting. Alright. I'm just going to try to dismantle as many of these trees as I can right now. I'll do a bunch of dismantling off camera of these and... That way, I don't have to bore you guys with this. But I want to get as many of these taken care of as I possibly can. Because I hate dealing with the trees. I put them on because it's an easy source of getting money. Once you have uh, out, uh, deliveries and shit that you can put around. But this is very much one of those things you just want to get done. Over with as fast as you can. Alright. So now, we're going to go back into planning. So my plan is... I want to have a two-wide walkway between this area and actually no i'm gonna go for a three wide walkway so first things first we gotta put walls there because that needs to this needs to be walls right here and there that can't be yet but it will be eventually um i'll probably expand to this side as fast as i can and then put a wall running up this well for now obviously we'll just do my no, my normal wall running up this way thing so that needs to be there. There's not going to be any walkway on that side. It's just going to be an open space. But there's going to be a three-wide walkway between our staff area, which I actually need to finish planning this out real quick. So how much do I need? I go to rooms. Shit, I'm trying to remember this real quick. Um, Security's four by four. The kennel is a 4x4. Four four. And the armory doesn't have a requirement. So our kennel will be outside. So our kennel is going to be back at the end, I think. I think our kennel will be... Wherever our back area ends up being. But first and foremost, we're going to have a storage area in here as well. And the storage area... Will run like this... And then like this. And we just go in and erase the plans we don't need. So basically that line right there doesn't need, isn't needed. And that also isn't needed. Because that's already an indoor area. Now technically we could just, you know, get rid of that. And just have the storage area be this whole thing. But I want the, I kind of want to seem like the power supply isn't there. And wherever this stuff is at, 
Like wherever there's a double wide spot from like the, the pathway, we will have a double door because it makes it a little bit easier for my OCD. Kennel. Let's see, what is this? Let's go. Let's go nine. So right there. And that should be a nine a nine block space in the middle, right? Yep, okay. So there we go. So that's where the kennel will run. We'll be at the very edge of this. And then our three wide pathway, so. And then walls down to there. One, two, three. And we gotta remember that we need a wall there as well. Okay, and then we can erase this. And that's basically just so we have like a huge area of a wall, basically. All right, so then we're gonna go building brick and put in that whole thing for our storage. And I know it's probably overkill on storage. Actually, it's probably not enough on storage. I've done this many times where I have not had enough area for storage and it's probably not gonna be any different this time. We need walls and doors. Alright, and any door that's going this way, I want opening up. Yeah, I want opening up. So power supply, or not power supply, sorry, objects. And I'll continue this down two lines like that. Right. And then we're just going to put one. Actually, you know what? I don't like the way these look. I really don't like the way these lights look. These lights look in here, so I'm going to dismantle them all real quick. Make And try to make them look better. I think we'll just do the... I think we'll just do lights down the, the row. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. There we go. Actually, wait. Hold up. One two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. Um, let's actually do it that way instead with three. So we're going to dismantle all these real quick. I'm very indecisive about the lights in this area, you guys. I'm sorry. I, I know. All right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And that's got a three gap right there. So it looks better in my opinion. All right, and then this will be an outside area, so we're just going to do a fence like so. All right. And then we should probably mark that as storage. So for once, I'm not actually going to have this be a part of the storage area. I think we're going to put... Well, we should probably not need any capacitors just yet. 
And then basically what's going to happen is this will be I'm just erase plans. This will be our armory. And then this will be security. I just realized I don't actually have a staff room yet. Um, is that actually an even split? 11 by 7. And a, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal if they're a little bit different sizes down here. For me, I, I'm not too miffed about that. I'm not too pissed off about that. That's that's fine. It's completely fine. It being a little bit um, bigger on one than it is on the other. We do technically need to have a um entrance door right there all right so yeah so that's kind of the only planning we've done so far is just this tiny little corner of this huge huge map so we're gonna finish we're gonna get all the wall the wall fully planned in first and then we'll go through for everything else the worst part i have the thing i've always hated about doing the walls is every single time I do this, I have to then redo it because of having to like make up for the spot where it's going to be different eventually in the you know in the long run of things. Yeah, so I I gotta redo that. There we go. There we go. Now it's better. And the reason we're doing it that way, with the three gap and and all that is because it I've had success with this and I've seen other people have success with this same style of of wall in the past and I feel like if we do it this way it's just gonna end up the best possible solution for everything for us having this sort of setup as the way we do our walls there we go we're just doing that to make sure that everything is still evened out the right, the right way. Because I've also had it in the past where I've messed up when doing, when actually like placing my stuff before. Did that capacitor somehow get canceled? What? Oh no. Oh, okay. Huh. Well. Wow. Um, so yeah, so there's the base of this done. Um, so then what I want to do is I want to have everything kind of set up differently. So first things first, like I said, we are going to have, um, some offices over here and they'll have a one gap between them and the wall at all spots. So we're going to have a seven by seven office here there there and there and these are going to be slightly different because these are going to be offices for the psychiatrists and the psychologists to use um, so we're going to have four doors there and then we're going to have a door here 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 and here and then we'll just have a single door right there and that's how they're going to get into this protected area and then they'll have a door there and there will be a door there then there'll be a solitary door probably there and right there not one right there as well 
Actually, I think this is going to be the security, and this is going to be the armory, and this will be the staff room. Because I need a big staff. I just realized the staff room needs to be kind of big. So they'll have an easy way. Ah, oh, do I want to do that? So that will be two solitary doors rather than, than that. And this will also be a solitary door, just to make it a little bit tougher to get into. Um, and then these door, these will be, we'll have a couch, two filing cabinets, and then another chair right there. And that's how they're all going to be. They're all going to be the same, same design. Now, we don't need those just yet for obvious reasons. Um, and then we're going to do building brick down here because we're going to put in our... Um, I'm waiting. We're going to put in our accountant's office right now. Damn it, I put that door on the wrong way. My OCD knows no bounds, you guys. Now we have our first accountant. All right. <clears throat> How much more time do we have left on this video? All right, this video is just about done. So we're gonna clear our deliveries and our garbage. I always edit where I put these. So our gar is gonna be this area outside of the the walls. The garbage doesn't really need to be an area inside the walls is the good news, so that's fine. Our deliveries will be inside, right up here in this this little area. Let's actually go to that light. So we have a big deliveries area. And then we'll also have an exports area, and that will be a little bit closer to the end of the prison. And then we'll go up to that light with the exports area. And the big reason for that is because this is just a small area. Wait, no! Well, it's not that big of a deal if we export all this wood, to be honest. It's going to be a long time until we get a workshop anyway. <laughs> Read the CEO's letter. Delete, because who the fuck cares about the CEO? I'm just kidding. The CEO's an asshole, guys. No. He, he's not that bad of a guy. And then because this super duper secure we're gonna go for a three away gap one two three all around to make this even more secure and then there'll be a single door right right there there'll be a jail door right there and that will basically this is basically what this is gonna be is our ooh shit should I move those up an over one and just have it be a two gap around. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna move them up and over one and that will be a two gap around instead of a one gap. That's very weird looking. There we go. Let's do it that way instead. I think that looks a little bit better than the original way I had it. I kind of realized I looked at it, I was like, wait, that looks really weird with it not being like a solidary gap around the entire thing.
However, I do need to edit the doorways now. Um, yeah, we'll still do the, the two doors design for this just because I think that's the best option. Uh, but this is going to be the end of this video, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the first video uh, bringing us back into Prison Architect. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode of this one. And uh, like I said, if you guys have an idea for a name for this one, please do let me know. Um, I currently don't have an idea for a name on this prison. Um, if you guys have any, I, it might just be new prison. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I'm deciding to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.